good day today. Uh, you know, we wanted this week to just regroup as a team, uh, get some stuff done, uh, get close together, serve in the wagons, have a little fun, have some energy. And uh, I think we can accomplish that. Today was the Trojan Bowl, and there's some guys that some guys are getting red shirts, some guys are getting to play a lot. We let the older guys coach them. They had fun doing it. There's a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. But now tomorrow we'll start on Arizona, come focus in for one great game week preparation. Dion said in the last four years his body probably feels, or the, just kind of the, the the calendar for getting their bodies right is the best it's ever been. What did you did you change something there? Well, we we didn't, you know only practice one time this week with the, with the starters. The starters actually got 18 reps this week full speed work, but I tell you what, they were very physical as you guys saw yesterday. They accomplished exactly what we wanted to. I wanted them to be fresh. We're not going to practice very hard tomorrow. And then they have the day off Saturday, so they were coming off a pack of full pads and they're going to have an excellent game with them. Ed, what was the thinking behind what happened today? How did you, you know, it was something that we did at the University of Miami, and I thought it was excellent. And uh, guys got fired up for it just like today. And we always did it during an open date. There was a little break, but it was football to get the young guys to come in the game type situation, get the older guys to coach, get everybody involved. I thought it worked out pretty good. I think they loved it. How's your, what's your take on Saturday now? We're far enough removed from it. You've seen the film, you've made the correct Yeah. Defense. Yeah, we, we, what, we What happened? Well, first of all, we didn't play very good on defense, obviously. Uh, we had some breakdowns, we gave up big plays. Uh, there was a couple of plays that gave us problems. They kept on running. We didn't do the assignments properly. Uh, I think we were very off balance. Again, I thought the offense ran the ball very well. And uh, these are some of the things that we have to fix. We did fix them this week and move on. What were your kind of instructions to the guys, the older players? The players? You know, they coach up, huh? Play it like a game. Just enjoy yourself today. It was good. Really good. Any updates on any of the guys that uh, you kind of talked about in three wide? No, 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 nothing new. Uh, nothing is really serious. Uh, nothing more than I gave you yesterday. Nothing new to tell you. Does Marquise look any further along? Or? Uh, about the same as yesterday. You know, uh, really nothing new. What's been the uh, kind of feedback you've been getting <laughs> based on, you know, because you are having opened up the practices yesterday, yeah. there were a million media people out here, uh, you were all over the, the news everywhere, what's yeah. kind of been the feedback? Things have been beginning? positive, things have been positive, but you know, now it's time, things have been serious, and it's, you know, we still want to have fun playing football, but now, it's not open day before, man, we, we have to go do it on the field. We're going to take it one game at a time, regardless of the outcome, we're taking it one game at a time, and uh, we're going to enjoy our eight games together as a team. And uh, that's what we're guaranteed. Have there been discussions for you guys to bring on another defensive coach, given the view now? Uh, the there were some thoughts about a lot of guys here and there. You know, obviously, this time of year, there's not a lot of guys out there. But there were some discussions about bringing on another offensive coach, uh, another defensive coach. Uh, I'll say, you know, the thing came out about Tampa today, and I did call him to see if he was interested in some capacity. Mm -hmm. And obviously, he was very complimentary of USC. Uh, very supportive of what we wanted to do, but he just had other things that he had in mind. I mean, very positive. I did not call anybody else. So, yeah. is the matter pretty much closed at this point? You guys are going to move forward with this coaching staff, or are you still well, going to make it some calls? I don't want to say it's closed. You know, uh, I like the guys that we have. Uh, we're going to see how it works this week. Uh, if another name pops up that we think they could help us win, we'll definitely entertain the thought. I'm not calling anybody else, about that, yeah. but I'm not going to shut any doors. Has anyone called you and said, hey, I'm available if you need some help? Uh, a couple of guys had. You know, a couple of really good coaches, really good guys that I really respect, but it just has to be the right fit. And uh, I really like the, the continuity of the staff right now and how we're doing. And uh, I think we'll go forward at least for this week for that. Do you think that this has made some of your veteran players have to step up a little more? Yes, and they are. And how, how are yeah. they handling that? I think the leadership has been great. Uh, the way that we're early for meetings, uh, they're walking around like they want to be here, you know, and uh, I think they're really talking to the young guys. Hey, let's go to the South season. And we talked to them about this. This, this is our team. And, uh, and they control their own destiny. They are not happy with the results that have been happening on the football field. They want to do something about it. Now, we have to do something about it, but we're not accepting that. 
you kind of have to shift gears a little bit in terms of how you've been the last couple of days as you guys get into your game week, or are you going to be exactly the same? I hope so. I hope I can be. And I inside my stomach's going to be turning and everything, but I hope that I coach with a lot of confidence and uh, as relaxed as I can be and get the guys that, hey, you know, we're going to go out there and prepare what well, uh, confidence we're going to play well. They, they need to see that with the head coach, but I need to keep it loose. Obviously, the defense is used to your style, but do you think the offense is kind of coming around to, to realize what you're like? Yeah, I think so. You know, I talked to a couple of guys yesterday, and uh, they enjoyed me being in the huddle. I really like you know, getting to know those linemen. I like, like being in the linemen. I like talking to the quarterbacks. I don't talk to the receivers much. I don't know nothing about receivers. Uh, the running backs hit, hit the whole hard. I just want physical, tough football players. Are you a little concerned about playing so physical with a team that's already so thin and already is battling against so many injuries? Not at all. <laughs> do you uh, go to like offensive meetings now, or do you talk to those guys after you're done? Yeah. That stuff that's you want. Good question. I go all defense. I run the team meeting, obviously. Still run the recruiting, and I go to the defensive line. And that's the one thing that. You know, we feel that it's a strength of this football team and it continues to be a strength. We don't want to change there. But I do meet with Clay Helton in the morning. I, I'm not on any offensive meetings. What's your family back home said about all this? They fired up. They already. My boy's playing a game right now. Uh, Mandeville versus Fountain Blue High School. It's 830. Uh, my grandmother, 70 years old, texts me play by play. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of great. It, it, she's fired up all the time just like I am. But they're excited. My wife's excited. She'll be able to come to the Notre Dame game. And they're just proud. What's your biggest focus heading into Thursday against Arizona? Preparation of our team. Doing the right things. Play like we say we're going to play. Taking care of the ball. Being physical. Playing good defense. Playing as a team. We need to put it all together. Special teams, defense, and offense. I want these guys to feel good about themselves. If you, if you were Arizona, would you want to play a team like USC right now coming, seems like you guys are high emotionally. And you know, you think you think that uh, some some guys would have mixed emotions there. You know, some uh, some guys say, I would think it might be on the other side. Hey, they may be in disarray. We're gonna go tear them off, or hey, if, you never know what team's gonna fire it up. So I think they're everybody's antenna is gonna be up till they see us actually play. Do you think that today was necessary to kind of re-energize your players? I like it. They deserve it. They work hard. I want them. To Come and enjoy football. Was that your idea? Well, I took it from the University of Miami. That was a long time ago, but we did it every open day to work for us. And uh, I just thought that, you know, once I get a chance to go, this is one of the things that, so once I get a chance to be the head coach again, these are some of the things that I do different that I didn't do before. These are one of the things I had down on my list. You didn't do that at Mississippi? Oh, no. <laughs> just, just hummer at. <laughs> Thank you guys, I appreciate you. Thanks. Have a great day.